You guys asked for it. Here we go. We're gonna need four basic tools, something to hold the cans together, a dead blow or a ball peen hammer, a center punch or a pick, something with a sharp point, scotch bright. Take your scotch bright and you wanna clean basically everything from this inside edge of this lip out, because that's where you're gonna be welding. Inside here is not so important, but right around this edge, the whole can's kind of got like an anodized or a chemical coating on it. So you wanna get that coating off. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this other can and I'll be right back. And I'm like, you're serious, man? This is like, I always feel like this is like the dance monkey, make me laugh, clown. Why don't weld Coke cans, welder? <laughs> want to take and put a vent hole in the bottom of one of the cans. So take your, your punch, your pick, and just give it a little smack. Just get a little vent hole. And the reason you do that is when you put these two cans together, that center relief forms a pocket. And once the air inside of that gets heated up, it'll try to gas out on you at the end of your weld. So that's just to prevent the weld from gassing out. Today I'm gonna to run the 250EX. So these cans are so thin, I'm not gonna use all this 43 amps. We're gonna do a very low amp start, so about a five to 10 amp start. Minimum end amps, not really a worry on this. Do about a half second of pre-flow. Post-flow is kind of irrelevant. We're not gonna be running enough amps to really matter, so we can turn it down quite a bit and save some gas. My frequency, I'm gonna go up to about 200 hertz frequency and I'm gonna stay at 30 to 35% balance. So tacking these cans together, the real secret here too is to get these cans as tight as possible together and also get the spacing even. You don't wanna have them offset from each other or at an angle. You want them to, to be as flush and as even as possible. So once you get them lined up the way you want them, you're gonna come in and instead of tacking the cans together and then trying to add filler, you actually wanna Lay your filler down and tack over your filler to give you a little something extra to, to tack to. And then we'll go around three or four times, tack the cans together, and then we'll actually start on one of those tacks, back up and then start running, start running around them. So now we've got four, this one's not real great, but it'll work. But we got four pretty decent tacks. So now the cans are stable, they're not gonna come apart, they're not gonna warp on us. So now we're gonna block it up, how I feel comfortable, and we'll get to weld in this scene. The most important thing to remember here is heat control, and you're gonna have heat control by adding filler rod, you're gonna have heat control by running a pedal, you're gonna have some heat control by your travel speed and your arc length, so kind of managing all of those at the same time, just like any weld, is gonna be of key importance here, especially here with this being so thin, being able to really fine, finally control your pedal and get you know two or three amps here, two or three amps there, is going to be really important. To run this weld, tacking them, I was using 1 16 4043, which is a lower melting temperature rod, so it doesn't take quite as much heat to melt it in, which is what we want here. And then to weld it up, even though this is a super thin material, I'm actually going to use 332nd filler just to really help me manage my heat as I'm going around this scene. And the arc's always gonna be, for me anyway, has always been a little unstable doing cans. Probably because I didn't clean it enough. If I would've taken some sandpaper and really buffed these things down, then scotch brighted them, wiped them down with acetone, I could probably get a little bit better bead, but for what we're doing today, you guys wanted cans, here's a nice set of cans. So nothing real groundbreaking today, just having a little bit of fun. I'm Jesse McCollum, brand ambassador for Everlast Welders. Remember, weld mean, weld green. How do you like my cans? <laughs>